Hi, my name is Andy and I'm a product manager with Verta AI. I'm going to give a quick walkthrough of our product UI today, um, just as a quick introduction to some of the features that are available in our platform. Um, so let's just get right into it. When you log into the platform, you'll see the home page first. So this is going to be where users get welcome to the platform if they're a first time user and get instructions for how they can quickly get started, get quick links to onboarding videos here. Of course, if you're a returning user, you can go ahead and dismiss this, you never have to see it again. And then what your home page will show you is a snapshot of what you need to know about what's happened in your workspace since you've last signed in. So for example, you can tell that where I am currently, we've got a couple models running, they've done some predictions in the last 30 days, they're being monitored, and I can quickly go and view those monitors based on which models have gotten the most predictions. And I can also see for models that have not yet been productionized, what's sort of the pipeline of which models are getting worked on, how many are in production now, and how many are getting queued up to go into production next. So as a returning user to the platform, widgets like this are really helpful, and we're adding new ones as we go along. I'm gonna get into these bars uh, on the left side, these icons next, and I'm going to go through them in the order that a data scientist might go through a machine learning project. But before I do that, of course, you'll be able to manage your account and your administration of the account icon, and all of your help and support resources are available here under the Lifesaver icon. You can search the entire platform in the top right or switch which workspace you're in. So those are some of the other items in the UI. Let's go ahead and dive into data. So uh, Verda allows data scientists to register data sets that they are using to train their models or to test their models so you can understand where the model came from from start to finish. I won't go too deep into this, but just know that you'll be able to register versions of data sets. Um, you'll be able to connect these data sets to later experiments and models that you're running. Once you've got your data, the next thing most people do is run an experiment uh, or several experiments in order to determine which model should be ready to get deployed. So uh, you can see here a record of all the experiment runs that were used to generate um, the certain models that are trying to get to production. You can see the differences between the different experiments. Each of these actually has a connected data set or a version of a data set um, that you're using to generate the experiment and the training run. And if one of these is a clear winner, you can obviously quickly deploy this or register this model into your model catalog. This is not mandatory, but this is some really handy functionality if you wanna manage the entire model lifecycle on the platform. Once the model that's the winner or the one that you're gonna productionize has been selected, the first thing you're gonna do is throw it into your model catalog. So model catalogs where you're gonna to go to see kind of the at a glance view of the command center of what's happening in the machine learning operations at your company. So you'll see really quickly how many models have been registered, who's registering them, how many versions do they have, are any of them live right now, what data sets are they acting on, what tasks are they performing. You can search through and cluster these, sort them as needed. Um, I have here a test environment, so you don't see a lot of examples, but if you have hundreds or thousands of models that have been built in the history of your company, this is where you can make sure you don't lose anything. When you click into one of these, you actually can see um, the documentation for that model, if any has been written or registered. You can see different kinds of versions and who's working on all of them, where they are in their development life cycle, et cetera. Once you've selected this model, you know that one of these is currently in stage unassigned, but you want to take it to production, you can also leverage Verda to deploy or package those models for you. So we do that from the deploy um, settings. A simple way to get a deployment up is to create an endpoint, which is what I've done here on the deploy tab, where you can pick a model version and you can create a path that you can hit and boom, your model is live and you can start getting predictions from it. Um, you can also download containerized versions of your model with all of its dependencies to run in an on-prem system. You can uh, do batch-based processing, but this is all managed here under the deploy module. Once your model's been deployed, the final thing that we offer is uh, monitoring of your deployed endpoints. So monitoring allows you to get a sense of what's actually happening with these models I'm serving. Are they doing well? They need my attention. Let's pick into one of these here that's been running, that's got some alerts. So if you are registering data sets that are ground truth, you can actually get um, 
accuracy metrics and the performance of your model over time. So for example, in this classification model, there's accuracy, precision, recall, F1. This dashboard looks a little bit different based on what type of model that you are monitoring. And you can filter this by model versions as you promote new versions to production. You can get automatic alerting for drift detection and data outliers. Um, and a lot of these features here also have a webhook system, so you can do automations based off what's happening in your model catalog or uh, in monitoring outside the platform. So this is the platform in a quick nutshell. Um, if you have any questions for us, never hesitate to reach out. Uh, we're always happy to answer questions at our support email uh, or via our website, and hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.